Welcome back to Gringo Nation. I am helping you find your freedom through travel so that you too can live your ultimate adventure. Today I am here in the north of Portugal in the lovely city of Porto and it's time for me to show you around town. Let's do this. Okay, so first things first, if you're looking for a place to stay here in Porto, just open up a new tab with this video up here and I will walk you through it. So when in Porto, you're going to be eating a lot of seafood, especially cod, which is their specialty here in Porto. And you might start up the day with one of these things. This is a fried cod ball, so let's give it a go. They know how to do their cod around here. The weather up here in Porto is usually not as nice as it is in Lisbon. In fact, it has been raining quite a lot these past few days, but as you can see, today is a lovely day. Here in Porto, of course, they are known for their port wine, but it's actually not my favorite kind of wine. But I feel like I'm here in Porto, I might as well give it a go. So I'm gonna go do a port wine tour now at a place called Caves Kalim to see if they can convince me otherwise about this port wine situation. I wanna like it. And just for you to understand where I am, this is the docks area. I am in Vila Nova de Gaia, which is on this side of the Douro River. So I'm just gonna show you around this side first, and then we're gonna cross the bridge into the more central area of Porto. Okay, so we are arriving now at Caves Calum. Great location, just on the river here. And I actually just found out this is the most visited wine cellar in the world. That's crazy. So I got the premium guided tour, which gives you three of their wines. A little steep, of course, 14 euros, but when in Porto, just gotta do it. Get ready to walk these steep ass hills here in Porto. The view's gonna be worth it though. So the wine tasting is actually only going to happen in about 30 minutes. So in the meantime, and one very steep hill later, I'm here at Jardim do Morro, which is an amazing park that offers this beautiful view of Porto. People like to come here during the day and in the afternoon or at sunset to have some beers. And, and it's definitely not a bad place for that. Check this view out. Just like that, we are back here at the docks to go do this wine tasting thing. So these are the guys responsible for potentially making me like port wine today. Okay, I just got out of the Kalem port wine tour and it was incredible. I must say, they did their job. Now I can say I'm a port wine drinker. Those guys are classy AF and the tour is really cool. Like a lot of multimedia stuff going on and the wines were delicious, I must say. So good job, Kalem. You got me liking port wine now. But I also must say, I was pretty horrified at the amount of people that leave their tasting glasses on the table. Like, you paid for those wines, you should be having them. I wanted to have all of the wines that people left behind, but uh, I gotta pretend I'm mature sometimes. I'm pretty hungry now, so let's go hit a restaurant and I'm gonna try to have some typical northern Portuguese food. Okay, the plan now is to cross this bridge over to the other side of the docks. It's definitely nicer if you come on the top here, but this one is closer now, so that's where I'm headed. One thing I will say about Porto is make sure you are ready to walk a lot. And I'm talking really steep hills and stairs all the time because there's a high part of Porto and there's a low part. So if you're going from one side to the other all the time, it does get a little tiring. That said, there are some pretty cool walking tours that you can do. Um, just talk to your hostel or your hotel and they'll set one up for you. And yeah, all this walking is gonna pay off. I just know it. We're almost at that restaurant. So I'm about to head into Casa Gadges, which was a suggestion from my friend Mel. Obrigado, Melzinha. 
And let me tell you, Casa Gedges did not disappoint. I had the most delicious sandwich. It was roasted pork, garlic sausage, and a fried egg inside an amazing bun. And I got a little draft beer on the side and it was only 750 euros. So definitely come check out Casa Gedges. And now I'm gonna walk on over to a pretty sweet lookout point. On the way to the lookout point, I just thought I'd stop here and show you this bookstore, which is a really famous bookstore called Libraria Lelo. Everyone wants to visit this bookstore because apparently it inspired J.K. Rowling somehow to create the Harry Potter world. And I don't know, I didn't read the book, so you tell me. And I've heard there's just like a lot of people in there. It's kind of hard to move around. It is probably very beautiful but you also have to pay to get in. So I'm not gonna be going in. I just thought you should know that it exists. So you can do that on your own time. And if you do end up checking it out, let me know what you thought. Okay, and we've arrived here at Parque das Virtudes, which is Virtue Park, if you will. Let's go investigate a little further. It seems that the park is pretty big. So I'm just gonna try to find a nice little spot here to get a wonderful view of Porto. Just another wonderful view. So as the sun sets in Porto, I can say it was a real pleasure getting to know this city a little better. I want to announce that this will be my last video in Portugal for now. And what you do next is click on this playlist because I'm headed back home to Brazil for the first time in two years. Beautiful country, of course. So just click on this playlist and I'll see you right over there. You